blasphemy. This is madness. It's blasphemy. This is madness. Shalom. This is Taz Dak from the GMS Los Angeles camp. Coming back in the truth and the spirit of Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Hey, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the hopeful like Akyam. That's pushing this word, true sincerity. Sirach 25, verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. And through her, we all die. That's why I'm going to start it off right there. Um... What you see here on this picture is a rapper, R&B singer named Azealia Banks. I think, I believe she's a Simeonite or a Levi, one of those two nations of the tribe of Israel. She's an Israelite. And what she's going to read here says, I really just sucked my own period blood off of, you know what, you know, probably from a cup, whatever. And it gave me powers. Man, I tell you now, man, the women of our nation are just totally destroyed, man. All right? The only woman that's not going to be destroyed from our nations are the, are the elect. Okay? All right? Two-thirds of you so-called Negro Latino Native American women will be destroyed here, painfully here in America, in Babylon the Great. I'm going to tell you that. Thus says the Lord. It's all in the scriptures. Okay? So let's get with the lesson, man. <laughs> Let's give the lesson It's just disgusting man Our people just Are slaves Mentally slaves Physically slaves Unto that dollar bill man Just to maintain their um, Lifestyle Okay So let's get it Alright um, This is Jeremiah Jeremiah um, The second chapter Alright so, you know, if you have your Bibles, just read along and we'll break it down for you. This is Jeremiah 2, verse 14. All right. And it reads, is Israel a servant? Who's Israel? Israel are the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans and similar Indians. Those are the Israelites according to the Bible, according to the prophecy. OK, we are, we are those people. All right. Is Israel a servant? This is a question. Is he a home-born slave? That's a question. Why is he spoiled? Clearly, because our people, the answer here, because our people broke the law, statute, and commandments that was given from Yahweh Bashem El Shai through the hand of um, through Moses. Okay? He, 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 he laid out specific rules that you need to follow and statutes you need to follow, hold, high holidays you need to follow, but our people broke it. They want to serve the other nations' gods and do the, what the heathen do. Okay, all right. Why is he spoiled? Like I just gave you the answer because we disobey the commandments. That's first and foremost. Okay, if you look at what's going on in America, why are we in slavery right now? This is a result of not following the law, statute, and commandments, man, and not knowing who our power is, man. Disobeying him. All right. So you got monsters like this, like Azealia Banks, drinking her own period blood, man. Okay. <laughs> It's ridiculous, man. Our, be our people became nothing but walking animals out here in America, man. Sorry to say, but you're a bunch of fucking animals, man. All right? Let's go to the next scripture. All right? Um, because <clears throat> the problem, why they do this? Because they want to maintain their lifestyle. See, the women are, are addicted to being comfortable. Okay? They, they, they're addicted to uh, um, pleasures. All right? To satisfy their flesh Okay And a lot of our women Gonna be destroyed out here man They're gonna really lose Everything man In a heartbeat Okay Alright so As you can see They She basically went On the side of Satan man Let me get that real quick This is um First Timothy is the fifth chapter First Timothy is the fifth chapter Verse 15 Alright Fifth chapter Verse 15 and it reads, For some are already turned aside after Satan. And guess what? She's this woman is Eve, man. Okay? Alright? And she was beguiled by the serpent, man. And how she's beguiled with? Through riches, through through um comfortability, you know, 
um, riches and um, dainty things and, you know, just possessions, you know. And our women are really addicted to that stuff, man. So they do anything, I mean anything to get that dollar, man. You got videos out there with this dude. He had, you know, he has money on him. He has a Ferrari and he wants to test a woman's loyalty to test a woman's loyalty towards her man. And what happened? She left her man just to be with that dude in that car. And that dude ripped her a new one, man. <laughs> he said, you a gold digger, man. Why? Because our woman is addicted to these riches of this world, man. And the philosophies of the so-called white man. That's why I said many shall go on the side of Satan. And who's the embodiment of Satan? The so-called white man, Esau, Edom. Okay? All right, so let's get with the next scripture. This is... um. Isaiah 32. Isaiah, you know what? Let's, let's stick on, let's stay on Timothy's, man, because there's more. This is um, 1 Timothy, the fifth chapter, verse 6. All right? Since I'm here. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. So two thirds of our women, the so called Negro Latino Native Americans that's in here in Babylon the Great. It's like a bunch of dead walking carcasses, man, right now. Why they dead? Because they have no knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They don't even care for that knowledge, man. As you can see through their behavior. How do we know? Because the, the Israelite man in Babylon the Great gets no respect here, man. Because we're not in our power. But guess what? That time is going to change. And that time is changing right now. The, the, the ancient man spirit is coming back. But it's only going to be given to the hopeful elect. Okay? Alright? Okay, so let's get, with the, let's get with the next scripture. I'm going to, this is going to be a simple lesson, man. Because this, this is a travesty, what I'm, what I'm reading. What I'm seeing. But am I surprised? No. Alright? Because our people are really wicked, man. Alright? The, 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 the wicked of our people, man. They surpass the deeds of the wicked. <laughs> And she just drunk her own pure blood thinking she got powers, man. This is all witchcraft, ladies and gentlemen. All witchcraft. It's that simple. All right? Okay? Let's get with the next scripture. This is um Isaiah. This is Isaiah 32. And I'm going to get one more scripture and then I'm going to get on the book of the law uh, of what you don't, you don't supposed to be doing, none of that stuff. Okay? This is Isaiah 32, verse 9. Isaiah 32, verse 9. And it reads, Rise up, you women that are at ease. What it means, rise up, meaning mentally and spiritually, rise up from the bullshit that you learn from here in America, Babylon the Great. Don't get caught up in the ways of America, man. Okay? And there's some women that's trying to do that right now, and that's many blessings to them, man. All right. But this one, Azealia Banks, <clears throat> that's a cold hearted witch, man. Shit, Iman Shumper, lucky that he got away from that bitch, man. Plain and simple. My, my Spanish, man. <laughs> this is Isaiah 32, verse 9. Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Who's the voice of the Lord? The men that's teaching his word. The children of the day, the children of the light that has the knowledge of Yahweh Shai. That's the voice of the Lord. Like it or not, or believe it or not, but that's the voice of the Lord. The Lord deals with his men. Period. Alright. Um, verse 10. Many days and years shall you be troubled, ye careless woman. For the vintage shall fail and the garment shall not come. So all the treats that you've been having, all those benefits is not going to come. It's going to disappear. And many days and years you shall be in terrible fear, man. And guess what? We're in, we in a time of the beginning of sorrows, man. You see many more females in the straw hole right now than ever. Just to, just to get a half a sandwich, man. Pay their rent. On OnlyFans. When you're on OnlyFans, that's when you know you hit rock bottom. <laughs> man, let's, let's read it again. Many days a year you shall be troubled, man. And um, I tell you now, the Lord knows your spirit, man. He knows your deepest fears. He knows what to take from you. Don't, 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 don't put 
the Lord in a little box, man. Like he's going to actually bless you for your wicked deeds. It's not happening. All right. Let's go to the book of the law about witchcraft. OK, well, you know what? <clears throat> Lately. <clears throat> on the videos mean brothers made or, or individually, there's a lot of people talking a lot of shit, man. OK, but you know what? Go ahead, man. You just marking yourself. All right. You're like you're like them crows that chase after that bread on the floor, man. No, no, those seagulls, man. That chase after that bread on the floor, man. You can say every anything you want about um, the men of the Lord, man. But you know what? You're being marked, all right? Because there's a lot of you women out there, including you, Captain Saber hoes out there, that 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 willing to um defend this type of behavior, man. Let me get Proverbs. I'm going to get Proverbs the 9th chapter, verse 13. All right? Proverbs 9, verse 13. And it reads, A foolish woman is clamorous. Now, we go to the word foolish, is meaning stupidity. Yes, the Lord is calling you stupid, man. A lot of you women, that's the, in the same spirit of Azealia Banks, are stupid fucking women, man. You know, you know, you can't be calling no sister stupid. The 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 black woman is God. <laughs> and that behavior, she drinking her own period blood. Yeah, that's God like manner, huh? You guys, man, y'all gonna be y'all gonna be killed here in America too, man. Thus says the Lord. All right, if you if you condone this type of behavior, man, that's witchcraft, man. <laughs> Proverbs nine verse thirteen: A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. They remain to be simple. Why? Because they want to be, they want to be in equal footing with the so-called white man. All right? They want to be in comfort. They want to have possessions. They want, they want to be about that life. Live it, live it, to be comfortable. But guess what? The bentic shall fail. You're going to lose everything. And it's heading that way right now, as you can see. But a lot of you women not going to see that because y'all caught up with your iPhone, y'all caught up with um, Instagram, y'all caught up with other people's lives, man. Not paying attention to what's going on outside. <laughs> Danger is right at your door. The shadow of death is right by your bed. And y'all don't even know it. That's why it says she is, she that liveth in pleasure is dead she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. You wonder why you hoes is like 40 some years old and don't have a man. Because you got too many damn spirits in you, man. You are completely wicked. And you need to be tossed out the way, man. Period. And it's going to happen. You can read that in Zechariah the ninth chapter. <laughs> All right. Let's get to it. Um... Let's go to the book of the law. This is Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter, verse 10. All right. And then I'm going to end it with Revelation 21st chapter. All right. Deuteronomy, 18th chapter, verse 10. And it reads. And it reads. Here we go. There shall not be among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. Okay, well, here goes the point. Or that use of divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer. For all these, see, do you see those titles? It's all witchcraft, man. The Lord is warn warning you not to do that stuff because you go into a different realm that you can't handle and you may think you, you can handle. But those spirits is deceiving you, man. Okay? Verse 11. Or a charmer or consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer. What she's doing is um, a uh, high level of alchemy, wizardry, drinking blood, man. Demonic, that's demonic shit, man. Man, you brothers better be careful with these women, man. 
<laughs> make sure she don't she don't make you that that you know that spaghetti with that tomato sauce. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All right. Okay. Verse twelve. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. What does abomination means? It means a dirty, filthy act. The Lord does not accept that shit, man. Verse 12, for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And when it says Lord, as in all caps. This is who you ignorantly call God, and his name is Yahweh. Alright? And his son, his name is Yahweh Shai, which you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. And because of these abominations, the Lord shall, the Lord thy power doth drive them out before thee. And guess how you're gonna be driven out? It's called death by pain. You don't believe me? You don't believe what the scriptures say? Let's go to precept. I'm going to end it with that. Okay? This is um, Revelation 21 verse 8. All right? And it reads, But the fearful and, and unbelieving and the abominable, what did I just read in, in, in Deuteronomy the 8th chapter verse 12? All these abominations. So when you're doing all these abominations, you are an abominable, all right? But the um, Revelation 21, verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. What's that fire and brimstone? That lake of fire is talking about the destruction of... Of, of Babylon the Great America Through nuclear fire Okay Hey the Lord is not playing with you women man A woman like Of Azealia Banks will be destroyed Painfully here in America man Thus says the Lord man So I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Wakakadash Hey double honors to the apostle and the elder great millstone Peace and salutation for the hopeful like Akion that's pushing this word to sincerity To then Another video, Shalom.